next we go to university we are uh, happy to uh, present uh, to uh, to invite nina omshaw international coordinator faculty of information technology at the university of vivascula and rika vanhanen who is the coordinator for international student recruitment at the university of vivascula welcome nina and welcome rika once again we look forward to your presentation Thank you. I could see there are more Nina. So is it me you are referring to? No, the Nina from the University of Uvascula. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Um, yes, it's Nina from Uvascula, Finland. <laughs> um, nice to see you all. Um, um, so my name is Nina Ormshaw. And I am uh, the international coordinator for the Faculty of um, Information Technology at the University of Uvascula, Finland. And I'm here to uh, present you our Masters in Information Systems and uh, what's it all about. Um, the few words first about Finland. So Finland is a small country. Uh, or rather a small population uh, of about 5.5 million, but we do have almost 2 million saunas. So um, here in, in the Nordic, we try to keep warm <laughs> in any, any way possible. We have been the safest country in the world um, on several years, and uh, we also have the cleanest air in the world. So that's, uh, that's the main point about Finland at this time, but we also speak very good English everywhere. So uh, everyday life in Finland in English is um, very simple. Um, the city of Uvascula is the biggest city in central Finland, and we have about 140,000 inhabitants, um, out of which um, the, a great portion is actually students. It's a very student-friendly um, city. It's easy to get around. And you can see at the background our campus right next to the lake uh, where you can swim in the summertime or you can skate or ski in the, in the wintertime. We say that our city of Uvascula is hard to pronounce but easy to love. The University of Uvascula is one of the largest um, universities in Finland. And we're multidisciplinary and have six faculties and um, we have about 14,000 students. The Faculty of Information Technology itself is the second largest um, ed IT educator in Finland. And we do rank amongst the very best in the world and for example, in the Times Higher Education World University rankings, we're in the best 500. About the program then, um, it's a 20, 120 credit uh, program, which means two years of full-time study. It's um, an IT program with a twist. It actually awards you a degree in economics and business administration in IT. Um, we also have another program which is based, um, which is very much focused in artificial intelligence uh, called cognitive computing and collective intelligence. But that's more on the technical side. And as I said, this is our business program. We have a skills-based approach, um, meaning that we will give you a very strong theory background uh, combined with practice. And how that is realized is really that we, we give you the uh, theory, but then you go and do it. We have a lot of project work and group work um, building into our studies. We also uh, have world-class research. And um, if you're interested in cybersecurity, for example, uh, you can incorporate those uh, courses that we offer in your degree. And uh, for example, uh, one of Europe's leading uh, researchers in the field, Professor Mikko Siponen, um, 
is one of our professors. Um, what the program is all about is that um, every one of us uses uh, digital services in our everyday life for both uh, work and play. And uh, whether it's ordering food or whether it's your um, healthcare um, services that you need, you will need digital services. And our graduates are those who will be able to analyze real life problems and provide IT uh, based solutions to them, and also design intelligent services. Our students uh, or our graduates will also be able to manage ICT uh, organizations and also create new ICT driven business. We, uh, we have a very positive problem in the faculty and in the program uh, in that uh, most of our students uh, get employed during their studies. Uh, so we need to remind them to get them um, all the way to their graduation. Uh, a few words about the curriculum. Um, we have um, very focused uh, core studies, uh, compulsory core studies, giving you the basics, the organizational IT strategy and governance, for example, advanced systems development. Then we have um, cutting edge theme studies, either in digital services or software business and entrepreneurship. We also have a lot of elective studies and a great proportion of optional studies, which will give all the students a lot of freedom in choosing um, courses that they are really interested in, whether from the Faculty of Information Technology or across the faculties in our multidisciplinary universe, university. We also have um, compulsory language studies, so there will be one course in Finnish just to um, help you in integrating in, in Finland. So uh, what do you need to apply? Typical background degrees are, for example, management information systems or uh, information systems engineering, business information systems. But more than the title of your degree, um, your skills and knowledge matter. So if you have basic skills in information systems, programming, databases and information systems development methods, then the the uh, actual title of your degree uh, doesn't bear importance. We unfortunately don't have any bridging studies available in IT, so you will need to have those skills already when applying. Then we do hope that our uh, applicants will have um, uh, basic skills in business and economics too. But that is not um, strictly necessary because we do have bridging studies available in business and economics. And those business studies can be incorporated into your degree and be as part of your optional studies and therefore take your um, degree further, um, even though you have to do the bridging studies. Um, Possible career uh, options for our graduates are endless. As I mentioned, uh, digital services are required in any area of life, in every corner of the, of the globe. So we have graduates in expert posi positions in businesses, uh, as analysts, uh, business analysts, etc. We also have a lot of students or graduates rather in management positions and marketing roles. Um, we have a lot of graduates also going into research. This program will give you the eligibility to um, apply for doctoral studies. Um, a few words about the admission process. The application period is open uh, once a year in January and uh, you need to apply online at studyinfo.fi. Uh, and the next application is open from 5th till 19th of January. You will need to present your educational documentation in legalized hard copies. So pay attention to the 
country-specific criteria mentioned on our website. You will also need to get a language proficiency test. Um, even if your um, the, uh, the language of your undergraduate degree was in English, you need to check what the language requirements are, and we will need you to provide us a test result. If you don't have a test result at the time, um, get your uh, language test booked as soon as possible. All our uh, successful applicants will be interviewed in March and all the information is available through that website. And uh, naturally, if you have further questions, you can contact me directly or our admissions. Um, we have a tuition fee of 8,000 euros uh, per academic year, and uh, we offer three types of scholarships. One scholarship is to cover 100% of, of the uh, tuition fee and also gives you 5,000 euros um, for living expenses. We have also two scholarships which cover 100% for two years of the tuition and also four scholarships which cover 50% of the tuition fee for two years. The scholarship is applied when you apply for the programme, so it's pretty much a, a tick on the box, uh, so easy enough. And the scholarships are granted um, according to your uh, background studies and the, and the academic performance in that. So why um, um, IES program at the University of Uvascular? It's unique. It's IT with a twist. Uh, it's the only program in uh, Finland uh, that offers um, a business and economics degree in IT. Um, we have very international staff and uh, a nice, small, accessible, student-friendly city. Uh, if you compare to living costs in Uvascular, uh, for example, to the Hel wider Helsinki area, uh, you will see that the living costs are about half um, of that. We also have a lot of local employers uh, in IT, uh, both in Uvascular and in Finland. Um, so take a look at our webinar series um, where you can see a recording of our Welcome to the University of Uvascular, uh, where you can get more information on uh, us in general. And also we offer uh, a webinar on the 1st of December on how to apply. And there's also a Q&A uh, session for applicants. So please welcome uh, to come and join us uh, for the webinars. Um, there's the website treyu.fig-masters uh, uh, degree. Uh, all the information you need can be found through there. There's also a chat possibility with our student ambassadors, so you can get the first-hand information from our students uh, here in the program and also uh, what it's like to study and live in Uvascular. Thank you very much.